Let's take a little twirl around the rink with a morning skate edition of the Inside Edge. Here are your hosts, Bob McElligot and Jody Shelley. Blue Jackets are back at home tonight at Nationwide Arena, where they will play the fourth game of the year against the Carolina Hurricanes. There's still one more game left in this series, believe it or not. Blue Jackets will head down to Carolina one more time. But, uh, Jody, the last time these two teams met, it was in Carolina. The Blue Jackets had a lead. They let it get away. Jordan Stahl scored what turned out to be the game-winning goal, and the Hurricanes beat the Blue Jackets. At that time, these two teams were pretty much neck and neck looking for a playoff spot. Now things have changed drastically. The Blue Jackets still in the playoff picture, whereas the Hurricanes, well, they've fallen off. I'll take your word for that. that's what happened during the game because I really can't remember. Thank you for that, Bob. Uh, yeah, but uh, definitely the playoff picture. I was surprised when I looked at this team's uh, standings yesterday and where they sit with 67 points, nine points out with 15 games left, nine points out of the wild card position. Uh, they're all but done. And uh, I was shocked because really it was a head to head uh, Metropolitan Division battle. Um, and I thought, really thought that these games against Carolina would be more uh, urgency for both teams. But what you have is a situation where the Blue Jackets are pretty familiar with. The old Blue Jackets are familiar with the situation that Carolina is in, is in that loosey goosey mode where they're playing for jobs and impressions rather than uh, getting prepared for this playoff run and playoff push that the Jackets are on. Somebody asked me the other day when I was on a national show, somebody asked me, what do you think the turning point was in the franchise? And I know you were playing in Philadelphia and you weren't actually here, but you've been here all year now and you've had a chance to feel it out and you know what's happened here in the past. Where did this team turn to where, you know, when Rick Nash has to be traded from here, uh, it seemed to many people like, well, that's it. Things are bad and they're just on their way to getting worse. But as a matter of fact, things have kind of turned around. I don't know if that's the actual turning point. Maybe it's John Davidson coming. Uh, whatever it is, what do you think has finally got this team headed in the right direction? Well, it has to be a combination of things. If you look at all the things that have gone on, um, with draft picks being uh, coming in at the and uh, – performing the way you would expect. Um, yeah, leadership upstairs for sure. But there was pieces put in place by Scott Housen and his group that and trades that were made. That Rick Nash thing is definitely the biggest thing done in, in the franchise history as far as uh, impact of a player being sent somewhere. And really an unknown on what how the group is going to react. But uh, it seemed to have helped the identity of this team and, and pushed towards a, a, a different direction. I think that would be the turning point for me. Uh, getting Rick... Uh, move, Rick moving on to the Rangers, the team getting an identity, getting Bobrovsky, Dubinsky, uh, some big pieces, and Isimov from the Rangers. And that uh, those uh, there was two big trades with the Rangers, but uh, just getting the identity from the Rangers, we could say. I mean, it's really, really you could with a combination of Sergey. Uh, it it uh, it's really put this this franchise as to where, where they are now, and um, it's great to be a part of, isn't it? Yeah, oh, absolutely, and I and I brought that up to you because, as you said earlier, the old Blue Jackets know how the Carolina Hurricanes feel, but things are certainly different here right now. And you mentioned the New York Rangers. You know, it was just a couple of days ago that if the playoffs were to have started, the Blue Jackets would have played the Rangers in the first round. That's changed now with Philadelphia going up on the Blue Jackets heading into tonight's game. But you've told me this a million times before. It's going to change about 30 more times between now and the end of the season. It's going to be disgusting the way that uh, your emotions are going to get tossed around here. And it's just, it's part of the, this whole up and down. I mean, you just take, for example, that you have last week, there was a night where the Jackets were, I want to say, second in, that, uh, in, their, in the Metropolitan. And they didn't play the next night. And then the, by the time the game started, uh, I believe it was on the weekend, the Jackets were in the wild card position, so just by doing nothing. So that's by doing nothing. So and that's by getting a win, or it was a shoot off point, a shootout point, whatever it is. Doing the best that you can, uh, things can change. So there is getting to be a little bit of separation between a couple teams, uh, but I wouldn't rely. I wouldn't. I wouldn't look at the pitcher as being solid by any means so far. It's great to see them in the position they're in, but. This is a must-win tonight. If they don't get these two points tonight, things will change drastically. No, you're absolutely right. And now we've come to the point where you start to look at your schedule. What do you have left on your schedule? And then you're peeking at the Philadelphia Flyers schedule. What do they have left? The Washington Capitals are just a couple of points behind. Uh, let's see what they have left. So it's that time of the year. And on the schedule, by the records of these teams, it says the Blue Jackets should win this game tonight. But 
the Carolina Hurricanes have still come here to play. And the Carolina Hurricanes now get into a position where they go from playing for the playoffs to playing for jobs, which can bring out the best in a player as well, can it? Hey, no question. And But here's what. If I'm a fan that's coming into this building tonight to watch my Columbus Blue Jackets, I do not sit in my seat and expect them to win this game. And I don't expect one, I don't expect to come in once uh, during the season, uh, during the rest of the season, and expect them to have an easy game. I should say easy game. Of course, I expect them to win. The expectations are high. But do I think it's going to be a cakewalk on any given night? Uh uh-uh. uh This team is out of the playoffs. But boy, I'll tell you what, Semin is one of the most dynamic goal scorers in the league. I don't know if Cam Ward is going to play, but he's one of the best goalies in the league. They've got two Stahl brothers. They've got. Uh, some some big time young players, and one of them being Jeff Skinner. That Nathan Gerby has always done something dynamic and and uh, and hurtful towards the Blue Jackets. I'll say on the scoreboard, hurtful. So all those different things that happen, boy, I'll tell you what, you'd be ready for a dogfight tonight. Yeah, no question. You mentioned Cam Ward. Cam Ward hasn't been healthy for uh, a couple of big stretches this season, which has probably led to some of the demise of the Carolina Hurricanes, but uh, if it comes down to a goaltending battle, even if he is playing tonight, I'll take Sergei Bobrovsky in that head-to-head battle every time. How about you? Oh, yeah, there's no question, especially with the way he's locked in and in the zone right now. Uh, you know, goalies go through different phases of their career, and we know Cam Ward was there. He took his team to the Stanley Cup Finals, won the Stanley Cup. Um, and it's a, he's had a different phase of his career. He's a veteran player now. He's gone through some injuries. All these things add up. Um, and, and I don't know if he's the same guy he was back then. Obviously, he's not. But Sergey's, Sergey's at that point right now for me. He's at that point of a youthful, um, not too banged up, athletic, hungry goalie. And it's a great thing to see. And he's going to be there for a few more years. There's no question. But right now, uh, yeah, I would take Sergey 100 out of 100 times against probably most, if not every goalie in this league. For the Blue Jackets lineup tonight, Cam Atkinson comes out as a healthy scratch. Blake Como, who just came off a two-game suspension, is going to return to the lineup and give them a little bit more grit up front. The defenseman will stay the same as the other night in Minnesota, which means that Nick Schultz is going to be the healthy scratch for the Blue Jackets on the blue line. Tonight's game getting underway at 7 o'clock from here at Nationwide Arena. You can watch it on Fox Sports Ohio or listen to it on the Blue Jackets radio network. But we hope that you come here and watch these two teams with the gates opening at 6 o'clock tonight. You've been listening to the Morning Skate Edition of the Inside Edge. Come back every game day to get the breakdown from Bob McGilligan and Jody Shelley.